From looms to wheels, the birth of a giant. In the heart of Japan, a company called Toyota started its journey. It wasn't making cars at first. No, Toyota began by building something quite different, looms. These machines, used for weaving cloth, were the company's bread and butter. But Toyota had bigger dreams. The company's founder, Kichiro Toyota, saw a future in automobiles. He believed in Japan's potential to become a car-making nation. In 1933, Toyota built its first engine, a sign of things to come. Soon, the company shifted gears from looms to cars. The transition wasn't easy. Japan was still recovering from the war. Resources were scarce. But Toyota persevered, driven by a vision of a motorized future. Little did they know, they were about to revolutionize car manufacturing forever. Learning from the best, the Ford Expedition. In the 1950s, Toyota embarked on a mission. The goal was simple, learn from the best. And who better to learn from than the pioneers of mass production, Ford Motor Company. A team of Toyota engineers traveled to America. Their destination, Ford's legendary Rouge plant in Michigan. The Rouge was a marvel of engineering, a symbol of American industrial might. It stretched for miles, employing thousands of workers. Raw materials entered one end, and finished cars rolled out the other. The Toyota team observed every detail, taking meticulous notes. They were impressed by Ford's scale but noticed inefficiencies. Vast inventories sat idle, waiting to be used. Defects were common, leading to wasted time and materials. Toyota saw an opportunity to innovate, to do things differently. They returned to Japan with valuable lessons and a bold ambition to surpass the masters. Building only what's needed, the just-in-time revolution. Toyota's experience at Ford sparked a revolution, the birth of just-in-time JIT production.